Hello friends, it's Mr. Brandon. Today I am so excited because we're gonna be reading a book called The Ladybug Life Cycle. We're gonna learn a little bit about ladybugs because today is Earth Day and ladybugs are really, really important to our planet. Can you guess why ladybugs are important to our planet? Wow, that was a great guess. Ladybugs are really, really important because they're superhero bugs. Can everyone say superhero? Yes, that's right, the ladybug is a superhero bug because the ladybug gets rid of all the bad bugs that hurt our plants and gardens. So let's get started and let's read a little bit about Ladybugs. Ladybug Life Cycle by Justin McCory Martin. What is a tiny, shiny, and dressed in a spotted coat? A ladybug, that's right. Ladybugs are insects. They are part of a group of insects called beetles. And look at those beautiful ladybugs. What color are ladybugs? What colors do you see there? Red and black, right? A ladybug is red with black spots. Ladybugs have six legs and two pairs of wings. So let's count the legs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count the ladybug's legs. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Now let's count how many wings the ladybug has. One, two, two wings. One pair of wings is hard, and they protect another pair of wings that is fragile and used for flying. So fragile is another word for very delicate that means it's very, very, very weak. But ladybugs do not begin their lives looking this way at all. Read on to learn about the life cycle of this incredible bug. Did you know that ladybugs use their antenna to feel, smell, and taste? Isn't that really cool? A ladybug starts life inside an egg. Females lay eggs on leaves. The eggs look like teeny tiny yellow jelly beans. Look at those eggs. Isn't that really, really cool? Did you know that one ladybug can lay up to a thousand eggs during her lifetime? That's pretty cool. A few days later, the eggs hatch and out crawl these tiny little creatures. These are ladybug larvae. Munch, munch, munch. They are so hungry, they eat their own eggshells. Look at that. The job of a larva is to eat, eat, eat. Its favorite food is a teeny tiny bug called an aphid. Larva can eat up to 25 aphids a day, and that's what an aphid looks like up close. And there's the ladybug larva right there. All that eating makes the larva grow and grow. It may not look like a ladybug yet, but just wait, something amazing is about to happen. So a ladybug larva grows this big. That's the real size right there. After a few weeks, the larva stops moving and attaches itself to a leaf. Then it turns into something called a pupa. A pupa is like a wrapped up present. Who likes presents? Oh, I love presents. Birthday presents, Christmas presents, Easter presents, Hanukkah presents. I love presents. And it's like a little present all wrapped up. Guess what happens next? About one week later, the pupa breaks open. Surprise, out pops a little ladybug. Look, a ladybug is born. At first, the ladybug is soft and pale, but after a few hours, its shell gets hard and bright just like this. That's the ladybug we all know and love, right? The red ladybug with black spots. Soon, the ladybug is able to spread its wings and fly. Wow, at last, the ladybug is all grown up. So that's what a ladybug looks like when the ladybug spreads its wings and flies. Isn't that really, really cool? I've never seen a picture of a ladybug like that. Have you seen a picture of a ladybug with its wings spread out like that? Wow. So let's review the life cycle. 
a female ladybug lays eggs, then it turns into a larva, pupa, and then the pupa turns into a ladybug. There are more than 4,000 kinds of ladybugs in the world. Some are red with few spots, and some are red with lots of spots. Some ladybugs are brown or gold, and some are even sunny yellow. During the summer, ladybugs eat lots of aphids and small insects. Munch, munch, munch. They want to have full stomachs for the winter ahead. Why? Many kinds of ladybugs hibernate. They gather in groups. Then they hide under leaves, rocks, or logs to sleep all winter. Wow, they must have been really, really sleepy. In the spring, the ladybugs wake up and the females lay eggs. After that, the incredible ladybug's life cycle starts all over again. The end. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this superhero bug, the ladybug. I know I enjoyed reading the book to you. It was great seeing you guys for story time. I'll see you very soon. Bye, friends.